Hello and welcome back to Visit Fout Coast. Another day, another high vis. I've got a pink one look this time, snazzy pink one. And we're at the Lightworks Illuminations Depot. Do you recognise these things? That sounds like the air ambulance just taking off at the back of it. And we're going to meet Richard Williams, who is the head of the Illuminations Department. And we're going to go and have a look round this fascinating, this fascinating place where they make all of the illuminations magic. With the occasional, with the occasional light aircraft. <laughs> So don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed, make sure that you've hit the bell for notifications and don't forget to sign up for your Visit Felt Coast email newsletter. So this is Lightworks, this is where we're going and Rich is waiting for me inside and he's going to go and give us the two and six penny tour so we're very honoured, we're very honoured for this. Come with me and let's see what we can see. Right, are you ready? And as if by magic, I think the doors might open because he's, he's waiting. He's waiting inside for me, aren't you, Richard? Okay. Hello, Richard. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you nice again. Nice to see you too. And we're going to go and have a little look round, aren't we, where yeah. all the magic's made inside this amazing, inside ama this amazing depot. So oh, this, yeah. this is hallowed ground, this. You come in here and you get given one of those and then you get the, you get the size and the scale and the sheer enormity of everything that looks so tiddy when they're outside on the, the prom. Does everybody say that when they come they in? Do. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll go, wow, when you realise wow, it was that big. Wow, yeah. that big. We'll take you around there in a minute and show you the, the tableaus, but they are enormous. These are big as well, though, these yeah, diamond the railway, things. The railway features, yeah. Roadway yeah. features, yeah. Yeah, they look yeah. tiny when they're yeah. outside. And this is all, this is all purpose-built, is it not? It is, it was purpose-built for us. Uh, and I think how long 12 it years been? ago now. It's a, it's yeah. a while, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. We still think of it as new, but yeah, yeah it's 12 years ago now. <laughs> and it's all, it's all doors and corridors in different places. So we're going to go and have a look at the manufacturing. So the manufacturing is all organised around the outside of the building. And then <clears throat> all of the, the pieces as they're created, kind of the way into the middle where the electrical fitting takes place. So there's, some, there's a mixture of old-fashioned, traditional... Um, knowing, knowing what to do with a hammer, <laughs> a hammer and a screwdriver, yeah, yeah, yeah. and really clever, whizzy, whizzy uh, technology. So this is the, the old-fashioned, can you use a hammer and a screwdriver bit of it. So you've got your ordinary angle grinders and probably a lot of the kit and the equipment that most, most DIYers will be familiar with, and that machine looks as if it's probably as old as me. 1937. It's definitely older yeah. than me. Are you sure? It's definitely <laughs> older than me, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's an old one, yeah, that, yeah, isn't that it? from the old depot at Ribby Road as well. Is it? So, yeah, is, that, the... is that a, it's a drill, isn't it? It is, yes, it's, it's a, a pillar press, drill. Pillar drill. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's that smell. I love that smell. Fascinating. So this is some of the old-fashioned... Um, kind of engineering at the back of us. And what's this beast in this cupboard? This is a six axis robotic CNC machine. Oh. So a mouthful. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So it's part of our advanced manufacturing now. Yeah, so we've, we've got, this is, the, this is the clever end. This is the clever end of the, the gear. Um, so that presumably then cuts polystyrene to whatever shape you want. It does, yeah. It cuts all the right. shapes, everything, anything that's 3D really. Right, so, um, so your guys will design something, or maybe Lawrence yeah. will yeah, design yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. And then when you've got a computer sketch that's got mm -hmm. all the, the points on it. Goes into the machine, yeah. So yeah, we get a 3D model basically. Does it have a name? JC the robot, I call it. JC the robot. <laughs> But not, like I said, the Jesus old area, Christ. <laughs> the old area is, uh, we call it IAM, which stands for Illuminations Advanced Manufacturing. There you go, you see. So we've got the, the we've got the old the old tech bang up to date with all the brand new tech yeah. and this is This is a three D printer. Wow. That will print a print five metres by a metre by a metre and if it was if we printed it solid it would weigh eight tons. Oh goodness me. So pretty big. And I wouldn't like to even guess how much one of these costs. No, it's a lot of money. A lot Just of a money. Lot of investment, a lot of money. Brilliant. A lot of money. Brilliant. So did you ask for the Christmas for that yeah, then? Yeah, yeah. I asked him for them both. Yeah. And, uh, 
I bet you need. I bet you needed a mighty big stocking to get yeah. that in, though, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, where, it's a while to build. when are you going to start using that then? We've used it for little bits now. Yeah. Uh, we've used it elements, but then we're going to start to factor in. Sorry, factor in more of this as we move forwards now with the designs yeah. and look at what we can 3D print rather than doing things by hand. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to that's going to speed things up and make it more. Yeah. We're going to be much more efficient yeah. and effective. Brilliant. So that's the clever bit. That's the very clever bit. Are we going that way? Yeah, absolutely. I keep wanting to walk down the middle of the <laughs> corridor and I know, I know what you engineering types are like if anybody goes in the wrong place wearing the wrong clothes. You get, to, you get into bother. So this is where it all gets very kind of, goodness me, look at the size of that. So what's this bit? This is the Alibaba tableau and this is the cave door. So if you remember, the cave Good door opens this. and closes. Yeah, it does. Uh, and it's in for, as you can see, it's a major, major refurb this year. Well, I think you'd want to refurb, wouldn't you, if you were out on that cliff? You would. Yeah. How old is this now? Oh, it's a good few years yeah. old now. Yeah, it's yeah. got to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah so no, Normally they're about the 70s, 80s, aren't yeah. they, these tablets? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So these, these old ones, which, you know, to us who are of a certain age, the 70s mm -hmm. feels like 10 years ago, it does, doesn't it? It does, yeah. yeah. Um, but in actual fact, it's more like <coughs> 50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't realise. And they do, they, you know, fortunately they do take a battering in the weather. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but we're very lucky we know how to deal with it and what we need to do. To so is, th this is a bit of the kit, isn't it? Not this, a piece this is of the, the ROM that opens the door. Oh, right. And closes it. You can see. Any engineers looking at yeah. that that's really pitted yeah. and that should be yeah. smooth. Yeah, so yeah. well I know that, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. It's actually based on a coach door opening mechanism. Really? To work it out. If, if you ever go on a coach and look at how the door opens and swings, that's exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> Clever. Clever. My husband ought to work in here, he's got that kind of mind. He's got that, how can I, how can I take a... Um, biscuit in and turn it into a... Yeah, it's problem solving all the Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Are we going that way? Yep, yeah, carry on. Yeah. Carry on, carry on. Follow the little, follow the little people on the road. And this is, this is top secret, this. So you've got a preview before anybody else. Don't, don't gasp all at once. This is a top secret tableau for this year. So you can tell everybody that you saw it first. There's nothing to see. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here, that's all we're gonna but, that's see, it. It? Yeah. but that's it, but that's it. And this is the back of Swan Lake. So you know when they open those um, telephone cabinets, when the, the men are sat with the green mm. boxes and yeah, yeah. it's just full of wires, it looks yeah. a bit like that. It is, yeah, yeah. That's exactly looks a bit like is. that. Every, every tableau has a cabin behind uh, where all the control sits and you can see all the looms are actually not plugged in now, they all yeah. plug in and back to the cabinet and it's all yeah. labelled up. Very, very traditional illuminations with the lamp holders. Oh, so they're, oh, yeah, they're, so they're, they're the, the back lamp, of the lamp they're, they're holders, the aren't they? The lamp yeah. Holders, yeah. yeah, and of course the lamps, yeah. because as your pal yeah. would have said, yeah. no bulbs. bulbs grow underground, Absolutely. bulbs grow underground. Yeah. Yeah. I always we get that. asked a lot why they're actually not, ex why they're open and exposed. Yeah. And that's really to let a lot of the water and moisture out. Right, yeah. Yeah, so that they can dry us. Yeah, so they can dry out, and it's a yeah. proven method. Yeah. And we also get asked, why do we add the old one at the back like that? Yeah. And that's because we need to balance it out. The wide two in series, so if you get an odd number, you have to put one at the oh, back. Oh, right, right, yeah. You see, I, I did sort of electronics and stuff at school, and okay. I never understood any of it. Oh, right, OK. It went in one ear and out the other. We're not getting too close to that one, because it's just been painted, and we don't want to get covered in black paint because that would be no good at all. And this is where they all get enormous. So this is the, this is the, which one's this one called? This is the Great To Be Green tableau. Great To Be Green. You see, they've all got proper names as well. So you might have got a particular name that you'll give to it. So if I stand here, and that's my eye level, and I'm about five foot six, and then we do that, you can kind of get some idea of just how big they are, because they're absolutely enormous. So how many how many lamps would you use in a typical tableau oh, like this? There's, there's thousands in one of these. Right, so you don't typically, count them all as you put them in? No, typically <laughs> four or five thousand easily. Wow. It depends on the complexity of each one and the size of them. Wow, that's a lot of and lamps. this is all LED this time. 
that's a lot of lamps and these are all made for the Blackpool illumination so some of them are painted to make them coloured and some of the other ones are painted at the bottom I've put, I thought I, that's one, a one, you, you, you one, pull one, one out. you know I'm pulling all there one go, out that one there, look. there you go you can see that that's red. Um, and then quite a lot of them have got a, a colour coded what's that bit called that's the base of the lamp the base yeah. Mm. Yeah. it's not got a proper name then no it's, it's a B22 base it's a B22 yeah. it's the bayonet bit yeah bayonet mm. that's mm. it yeah um, I've got a coloured colour bottom in them because because you can see most of them look, look white but in actual fact they're not the coloured and there's just thousands of them so this will all be full of refurbished and repaired and refitted tableaus when you get round to putting them back out again amazing amazing what are they doing in there that's not part of our factory oh anymore. right is that the is that your, your lodgers yeah it's been locked. it's your lodgers and they were what the jellyfish the jellyfish you remember from lightpool festival last year we yeah had the jellyfish they were on victoria street so yeah. they've just been serviced yeah uh, and they hang from a big truss so you can interact with all the tentacles and everything i like them very nice. Show, oh, you see, because of course we are in the we are in the presence of TV royalty, aren't we? The illuminations. No, are, I meant yeah. you, because you've been on the telly quite a few times, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> and there's your I love Blackpool thing, and these bays are where everything gets stacked, ready for ready for going back outside again. And this is Odyssey with its clothes off. It is, yeah, yeah. Cheeky it's all Odyssey. Opened up, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So what are you doing to this This then? major service, the black boxes. Major surgery. Major surgery. The black boxes are where we have the projections in, so they project out the interactive floor space. Uh, and each one of these is roughly a third of the size of one of the towers. Wow. So they stand 10 metres tall yeah. when yeah. you see them in situ, but they don't look 10 metres. No, when, when, when things are outside, they look a, a, a normal size. But when you get near up to things inside here, well, they just you, look massive. You can sort of see the size of the steelwork that's yeah. inside that we have to do. And that's yeah. really for wind loading. Yeah. Yeah, we know all, we know all about yeah, the wind. Of wind in Blackpool. Yeah, yeah, we've never shot of wind in Blackpool. So as the guys are mending and repairing things, the road sections and the ones that go on the lamppost at the sides of the of the highway are being repaired and being mended and taken back out so it's a constant process and you described it as what the fourth, fourth bridge fourth bridge job now <laughs> that's exactly what it is yeah we're always doing something or putting, what on earth putting some work taking out. this is the back of the sun off the is it the Alfred tableau but again I love that's a them. different way of manufacture these LED pixels that are actually glued in wow so it's and, and but What's really clever with these, each one is individually programmable so we can control each pixel by a computer. It's just so a shame simple. that we can't do that with the proper sun. I know. I know. Just imagine. Dibber switch, just it? imagine we could just have it on bright all the time because we're all sick of the rain. We're all sick to the back teeth of all the rain. So that's the sun, and then you've got the whale, the orca behind. Wow. They look very different behind. Don't yeah, they? they do. They look very, very different. And then in this central section here, shall we, shall yeah, we go we this way? Yeah. Um, <coughs> we've got all of the... So you might want to walk. Shall we? Have, have we got room? Food, yeah? yeah, we've got room. I've not eaten too many cakes this week. Not, not all of them anyway. Um, and this central section is where they do the electrical fitting. So this, this is... is a, this is a typical feature that hangs across the carriageway on the wires. Yeah. So if you look very carefully, you can see where the wire actually wears oh, the steelwork yeah. away. Yeah. So we have to check it every year, obviously. That's that wind again. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's that wind. And uh, these are all LED tubes now as well. Yeah. So they're in for a service. Fascinating. And normally when I come to visit your guys at, at Lightworks, it's when the season launch takes place. Yeah, we have a press so launch, don't we? Yeah. quite a lot of the stuff that you, you've got and that you manufacture has already gone. Yeah, no, it's, it, it, it's it, gone back out. It so needs you, to yeah, exactly. really <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. So, you, so we tend to miss quite a lot of this. It's usually reasonably tidy and Every, fairly quiet and everything comes in for an MOT basically yeah, that's what yeah, it gets it's just like yeah, taking your car for yeah an MOT. it is it's amazing absolutely fascinating so there you go you see there's no shop where you can just rock up and say please may I buy an odyssey 
No, we have to build. We have to build yeah. everything. Everything is all made. It's all made to our own Blackpool spec. Um, and, and well, quite unique, absolutely unique, and quite amazing. Wow, you'll name it, you can find one. Fascinating. So, what, what's your oldest piece then in here? The oldest piece in here are actually some small bows that we caught when. Uh, lovers knots. Lovers I've called a lovers knot, and they've been in the display for years. You don't actually go out now, but they're stored upstairs. Oh, you know, wow! Basic fiberglass feature. Yeah, it just looks like a boat. And when do they date back to then? Oh, a bit well before my time, Jane. I've been here 38 years now. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, way before yeah. My time. yeah. Wow, amazing. Well, thank you ever so much. That's been really interesting. Really appreciate that, and I'm sure, I'm sure everybody watching will be fascinated with a, a behind the scenes tour. Well, thank you ever so much, Richard, for that. That was really interesting. Really interesting and a proper sneak preview as well of one of this year's new illuminations. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. And don't forget to make sure that you've subscribed and make sure you've hit the little bell for the notifications. And don't forget to sign up for your Visit Fell Coast email newsletter. And we'll see you next time. So from Blackpool, from sunny Blackpool at um, Squires Gate, we will see you later. Bye for now.